Hello and welcome to Force Point Next Generation Firewall Run It Live Technical Series. My name is Anas Shunna, Force Point Sales Engineer for Saudi Arabia. In previous sessions, we finished the installation and configurations for both SMC and Virtual NG Firewall. And today we will continue by configuring and installing the first policy to allow our SMC server access to internet. The aim of this session is to help you start working and creating IPv4 access rules, also to be able to create basic NAT rules in the policy. Another important area we will go through is the real-time logging feature, which is the most area we will work on when we configure, test and troubleshoot the system. Now going back to the SMC, we can see that the status of the firewall we have deployed is a green. And if we click on the node, we can see that the interfaces internal and external and are connected, while the DMZ interface, for example, is not connected because we did not connect it to a switch, to a virtual switch. Clicking on the cluster name, going to the right status uh, pane, we can see more information like the version that's running on that uh, NG firewall. Other informations are available as well. Now to access the policy, we have multiple ways to do that. We can see that the NG firewall HO policy is the policy that we, we have configured. We can right click on the firewall, current policy, and edit. This is the first way, or we can view it as a view only mode. We can go into configuration. If we right click on configuration, open new tab, then go to policies, firewall policies. We can see the policy as well here. We can open it in read-only mode or edit mode. So this is the policy that we have. Now let's right-click and add rule. We can double-click as well. On the source, we can start typing the IP address of any network device. We will be typing the IP address of the management server. And on the destination, we will select any so we will allow the SMC to access anything on the internet and on the services we can start typing the service and the system will auto-complete the service. So we will uh, select the DNS, we will select the HTTP and HTTPS services okay the other way from the left side if you click on services go to TCP start typing or click on the filter button HTTP select both HTTP and HTTPS service and drag and drop them to the service uh, column on the action we will allow access because we will allow the SMC to access internet so this rule will allow the SMC to access uh, DNS HTTP and HTTPS now to make it more familiar we can select the logging type to be stored so we want the logs of these uh, whenever this access rule is matched we we want it to be select if we want it only to appear on the real time uh, window we can select a uh, transient and if we want to get an alert we can select the alert type so we will select the store in the connection closing we will log accounting information because uh, for example we want to see how much uh, bytes sent and bytes received for example through this connection we can select other things like the URL categories, if we have the license for URL filtering and network application. So those will appear on the logging uh, whenever this uh, access rule is selected. Now going to the NATing tab, now we allow the access, now we need to do NATing. So we'll add a rule. On the source, we will add the same, the IP address of the management server. We will add on the destination the any and on services we can select the http https and dns services udp dns and here's the dns service now under natting right click and edit natting we will go on source natting it's a dynamic source natting and now 
we will select either the address of the interface or we will select it as an object. So we know that the external interface IP is 192.168.116.100. Then we will click OK. Now we have the natting will be using this public IP. We will be selecting this checkbox to have the ARP uh, update for the next switch. Now we will save and let's go back and go do save and deploy to push the policy change to the ng firewall. Now we have the policy already uh, pushed to the firewall. Okay, let's open new tab and open the log view. We can click the play button to start the real time logs. I will open the browser and try to browse the internet and we can see the logs on the back side on the uh, real time log window. Just we need to make sure that we have the default gateway for the SMC server to be pointing the, to the internal interface of the firewall and the DNS server to use, for example, 8.8.8.8, .8 just Google DNS. Now here we can, just once we click, we can stop and start browsing the logs. Easily, we can add a filter, just drag and drop the source IP address to the filter pane. We can apply, so we'll only see uh, the logs that matching that source. Now destination is the DNS server, and now we can see only the logs from the DNS server. I hope you have an informative session and thank you for watching.